On Wednesday, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, suspended five members of Parliament. These include Mitiana Municipality MP Francis Zake, Mitiana District Woman MP Joyce Bagala, Machinde East MP Derek Nyeko, Betty Namboze, the Mkono Municipality MP, and Frank Kabuye, the Cassandra South Lawmaker. The reason why they were suspended was not specified, but it is believed to be indiscipline. The MPs allegedly displayed their lack of discipline the day after Rakai District Woman MP accused Zaki of insulting her at a rally in her constituency. Tayeva referred the matter to the Rules, Privileges and Discipline Committee to investigate the matter. Today the committee was scheduled to resume proceedings against Zaki over misconduct. However, Zaki could not make it since he is serving his punishment. And the rules provide that if you are suspended from the service of the house, it means you will not appear in the chamber, you will not appear in the public gallery, you will not appear in the lobby, you will not appear in the grounds of parliament, or any other place that the speaker will have designated as parliament at that particular time. So the officers of parliament are pressing so. Although the suspension has an impact on the performance of the MP in the house, it does not affect their emoluments. Monetary benefits of a member are not affected as per the rules. Unless, you know, the rules are made by members themselves. You are out of the service of the House. Out of the service of the House. You cannot access Parliament. You can receive your emoluments. You can receive your salary. But you cannot now represent your people in the House. You the suspension, however, negatively impacts the image of an MP in some circles, especially the voters. The general public, this is a big, it is a big shame. We are handling shame. We are dealing with shame. A big embarrassment. Because the, the, the general public expect members of parliament to, 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 to behave according, you know, in, in resonance to the prefix attached to them. The committee will have to reschedule their meeting with Zake until the MP's suspension has ended. This is the second time Zaki has been sent to the Rules Committee. The first time was when he allegedly insulted Speaker Anita Monk via his social media. Zaki, however, says what is happening to him is a smear campaign. They have tried many times to torture me so that they put me down, so that they silence me. I've refused to keep quiet. So the only alternative they are left with is to come up with a, a deliberate smear campaign to portray me as a bad character. Zaki says he has been subjected to degrading treatment inside parliament, but his tormentors were not questioned very well in that very parliament. In 2017, when I was first tortured, I was beaten on the floor of parliament. In parliament, inside, and nothing was done. Nobody has ever been portrayed by the laws, by the rules, that this person violated the rights of Zake. It has never been done. All that happens to him, he will not back off at demanding for what is right. Jumakiria, NTV.